implementation of instructional design models. The Nurk and Gustafson model defines the instructional design process using three broad stages, identifying the problem, design, and development. The first stage, problem determination, includes identification of the problem, definition of the pedagogical goals, and identification of what the learners can do, knowledge, skills, learning styles, affect, etc. The design stage includes developing objectives and specifying strategies. And finally, the development stage includes development of materials, testing, and revision. The process is circular, not linear, and is popularly used in workplace processes due to its simplicity of design. Originally developed in 1975 at Florida State University, the ADDI model is a five-stage systems process popularly used as the framework for a variety of other design models over the years. The ADDI acronym stands for Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, and Evaluation. It is an iterative process whose core is evaluation, allowing formative assessment performed throughout the process to allow for revisiting and revising any previously completed stage. The Kemp model at first glance is longer than the other models, but as you will see in a moment, the tasks performed using this model are really the same as they are in the other models. They're simply stated in more detail. This model is also non-sequential in spite of the list of tasks, which are often numbered for easy reference. Like the other models we've seen, this one assumes that evaluation and revision are not standalone steps or tasks, but are carried carried out throughout the process in order to continuously improve design. The relationship between these three models is more clearly apparent as you view the following diagram. Beginning with Nurk and Gustafson at the core of the diagram, we build from these three broad phases. With Addy appearing as an outer ring, you can see the clean alignment of the five Addy stages with Nurk and Gustafson's three phases. Finally, Kemp's nine-stage process also fits nicely with the broader categories of the other models, as you can visualize in the outer ring shown here. With this particular visual representation of the three models, while it does a good job showing the relationship and similarities among them, its drawback is that it downplays the importance of the formative evaluative process that takes place throughout all phases in each of these models. The result is constant revision and improved design. I've added a final outer ring to represent this ongoing evaluative process more concisely.